What is good YouTube? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here and I have for you a story of a tutorial video for those of you that want to play DS Mume, which if you guys do not know, it is an emulator that you use to play Nintendo DS games. So first of all, you're going to need to download this emulator if you do not already, and if you already have it, then that's great. I will leave a uh, download link for DS Mume down below. This is for version 0.9.9. .9. And, um, yeah, I know some people, um, you know, they record and uh, it's a little slow for them, so I have some settings for you guys that I have found were the best for playing. Now, I have a pretty good computer, it is new, so it does run pretty fast for me, though. Hopefully this will help all you guys that are having some sort of similar problem to, um, you know, just slow gameplay. So, most of your settings that we're going to be changing are under config, alright? So, pretty much I'll just go through all these settings, you guys can just, uh, mimic me, you know, just do what's on my screen right now. So, under frame rate... You're going to check off limit frame rate. Um, why can I not pronounce that? I don't know. Um, auto minimize uh, skipping, and you're going to put the frame skip on four. Okay. Emulation settings. Just copy all of these exactly the way they are. The only thing that should be checked off is the CPU emulation mode. And really, I just found a lot of these by trial and error. So that's pretty much that. Next, 3D settings. Make sure that you're on soft restizer thingy, whatever. Um, enable textures and everything else just leave unchecked all right go a little fast make sure that you know just go back and make sure that I have everything the way that's supposed to be sound do whatever you want really it doesn't make a huge difference if you don't want the sound editing to turn all the way off um, but if you are going to do it um, do direct sound interface and um, those are the sound settings that you should be using all right so next we have the firmware settings doesn't really matter or anything um, you can leave that alone Microphone settings doesn't really matter. You can just use whichever one you want. It doesn't make a difference with the game speed. Um, slot one, don't worry about it. I know that some of you are going to be wondering about these slots. These don't really matter um, for your game speed. So if you want, you can just uh, auto detect. That just makes it a little easier on your part. Control config, that's for your controls. Hotkey config, that's if you want to speed up or whatnot. Path settings, leave these exactly how these are and everything doesn't make that much of a difference in your gameplay speed um, background pause you can check that off that's uh, if it's closed it'll pause you can do that if you want um, enable stereo uh, rewinding you can do that if you want um, display method this is important make sure you only have that one checked off leave everything else unchecked language doesn't matter and advanced state type have auto detect on that doesn't make a huge difference and yeah it doesn't really do anything with um advanced here but that's pretty much that these are the important settings over here some things don't really make a huge difference so don't stress over them and then also just a little thing that i found which is a little weird but i did find that super eagle which you would think would make uh, the gameplay slower i found that it made the gameplay more smoother and made it faster so if you want to do that go ahead and do that most of these preferences right here are more so personal preference so you don't have to like change any of them unless you want to change the um the, whatever layout that you want to have if you want it to be vertical like this or um horizontal you know and you can you know make the screen size that you want it to be and then you will find that when you open up a rom here let's say on um, volt white which i'm playing on old school singe channel it'll open it up and it'll play a lot faster so as it loads up there you go and it runs really smooth so now this is the title screen here and uh, you'll realize that you know it's running pretty fast title screens usually do run pretty decent though so hopefully this is working a lot better for all you guys. These are the best settings that I have found for DS Mume. If you want to see more like gameplay and stuff, this is when it's actually being used here. And look, it's pretty much like normal speed. And if you want to speed up and use that speed up button, go ahead and feel free to do so. So that will really help all of you, I hope. If you have any other settings that you find are more useful, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. But this is what I found were the best settings. It has really helped me a lot. And let me know if it helped you guys. Make sure you share this video out to anybody that you think is having this problem or you think it could help. I think it's a useful video and there are not that many uh, videos that do a good job of this. So um, that's that. If you are a first time viewer, make sure you hit that subscribe button for daily Pokemon content and whatnot. And that's it for me guys. So um, hopefully this, uh, this tutorial helped out. There you see my screen recorder professionalism right there. Um, and yeah, until next time, this is Fortune Gamer. Thank you for watching and I'm out. Peace.